Hello Peachies! Welcome back to Dare Peachy. Beauty enthusiasts worldwide have long debated the nuances between Chinese and Korean beauty trends, yet a clear consensus remains elusive. Undoubtedly, K-beauty has swept the global beauty industry with its iconic Korean celebrity-inspired looks and makeup products. However, the meteoric rise of C-beauty, fueled by the influence of Douyin and Xiao Hung Shu, is swiftly gaining recognition and popularity on a global scale. At first glance, these looks might seem similar to us. But upon closer observations, you can definitely tell there are some distinctive features that set them apart from each other. It's no surprise many Western beauty gurus confuse Chinese for Korean makeup. It takes an eye for detail to spot the differences. If you've been hanging around the East Asian beauty scene, you're probably an expert at this by now. Don't worry if you're still not sure how to spot the difference. That's what this video is all about. We're here to guide you through it. We'll dissect the Korean and Chinese-inspired beauty looks, unraveling their unique characteristics. By understanding these differences, you'll be better equipped to choose the aesthetic from these looks that resonates most with your preferences. Let's begin with the Chinese-inspired makeup looks. China's makeup scene has been a talk of the beauty world lately, especially with the hype around that Ouyin makeup looks. Well, that Ouyin makeup trend has gained massive attention on Western social media platforms like TikTok these years, but it's important to note that it's just one branch of China's diverse makeup styles. That Ouyin makeup trend has definitely caught the eye of many outside of China, so it's no wonder everyone's tagging it as the typical Chinese makeup look. But hey, there's a lot more to China's makeup scene than what meets that Ouyin eye. In the world of Chinese beauty enthusiasts, What's known as Dou Yin makeup is actually referred to as the influencer makeup look. However, this style isn't the go-to for daily life or TV celebrities in China, but it's the signature look of online social media influencers. Yep, despite its popularity, this look isn't exactly what you'd see on the streets or your favorite TV shows in China. It's more of a trademark style sported by the online influencer squad. The Chinese beauty community has a distinctive take on what defines China-inspired makeup, and it happens to be the most commonly embraced style within China itself. Now, diving into those Douyin makeup looks, it's clear why they're a bit less everyday wearable compared to other styles. These looks tend to be on the heavier side, especially with the blush. Blushes are the emphasized here, applied generously and in vibrant shades. Sometimes, they're strategically placed on the nose and chin, aiming to create a youthful vibe by visually shortening the middle thirds of the face. To keep that blush vibrant and noticeable, these makeup looks often involve applying more foundation to create a clean base and give the appearance of a fairer skin tone. Even though we're all about that bold blush and foundation in Douyin makeup, the shades used are actually softer and more youthful. This softer color palette tones down the overall contrast of the look, keeping it relatively gentle and fresh. When it comes to eye makeup, it's all about brightening and captivating the eyes. The winged eyeliner takes center stage, elongating and lifting the eye shape, giving the overall look a structured and sharp vibe. This combination creates an intriguing blend of sweet cool or innocent fierce aura. To accentuate the eyes further, glittery eyeshadows, individual falsies, and egg yolk sal contour and highlight are essential. These elements are key in adding visual weight to the eyes, making them the undeniable focal point of the entire makeup look. In Douyin makeup, high shine highlighters take the spotlight, they can be pearlized or iridescent forms. Unlike the Korean emphasis on achieving a dewy finish, the highlighter in Douyin looks is strategically applied to certain areas, like the inner corners, nose tip, cupid's bow, and cheekbones, sometimes extending to the egg yolk sal, to create a reflective, sparkly allure. While this look might seem a bit over the top for everyday wear, it translates into a dreamy and ethereal vibe when captured on camera. Contrasting the Douyin makeup trend, the everyday Chinese makeup style aims for a more modest, bright, mature, and elegant aura. The shades utilized in these looks tend to be richer, intentionally creating a significant contrast for a brighter and more vibrant appearance overall. These everyday Chinese makeup looks often rely on matte finish foundations to highlight a natural skin, texture and maintain a clean, flawless base. The color palette tends toward richer and warmer earth tones. Emphasizing eye elongation, the outer corners of the lower lids are deepened, while a light trace of egg yolk cell helps widen the eyes. To draw focus to the eyes, lustrous eyeshadow is delicately added to the center of the lids. 
While Douyin looks sport straighter brows, the Chinese makeup style leans towards slightly arched brows to impart depth to the features. These brows often follow an upward shape, visually lifting the facial features. Emphasizing the natural flow of brow hairs, brow gel is used to achieve the sought-after boy brow look. In Chinese makeup, eyeliner is applied along the lash line and extended with an upward wing shape, aiming to make the eyes appear more alert and lively. This look often employs black eyeliner for a more impactful appearance. Applying mascara is the key step to achieve that lustrous, elongated lash look. If you need falsies to boost your look, always go for the natural-looking ones to volumize your natural lashes. Contouring shade blushes are commonly used to replace traditional contouring along the sides of the cheeks. This technique not only enhances the complexion, but also sculpts facial features, making them more pronounced and defined. In Chinese makeup, red shades dominate the lip color palette, ranging from warm to cool tones and varying in depth to complement different skin tones. The lip shades are layered in multiple coats to naturally highlight the lip's contours. The cupid's bow is carefully defined, while the lower lip receives full coverage for a pouty effect. When compared to Douyin makeup looks, Chinese makeup tends to exude a more mature and elegant vibe for several reasons. The color schemes in Chinese makeup feature deeper and more saturated hues, enhancing the contrast of facial features. Additionally, there's a deliberate effort in Chinese makeup to sharpen the structure of features, including brows, eyeliner, and lip contouring. This emphasis on sharper features creates a higher contrast look, leaving a lasting impression of grace and modesty. After exploring both Douyin and Chinese-inspired makeup looks, the differences become quite apparent. While we all appreciate elements from both styles, have you found which makeup style that you prefer more? Chinese-inspired makeup indeed emphasizes specific facial features like eyes, brows, and lips, creating a clean and stronger feminine look. On the other hand, Douyin makeup tends to create a multifaceted focal point by blending various elements like shimmery eyeshadows, sparkly highlighters, and lip gloss, or fuzzy blush looks for a more ethereal and youthful appearance. Ultimately, both have their unique charm, but it's truly personal to find either of these styles align more with your personal style and preferences. It's fascinating to see how these makeup styles can convey different vibes and auras. And now let's move on to the Korean-inspired makeup looks. The influence of Korean celebrities or idols on makeup styles often blurs the line between Korean makeup, Chinese, and Douyin makeup. While they may share some similarities, there are indeed distinctive elements that help differentiate between Korean, Chinese, and Douyin makeup. Korean makeup truly aims for that natural dewy glow, and using minimal powder is a key technique to maintain that radiance. Unlike Chinese makeup, which often leans towards a natural skin texture, Korean makeup focuses on preserving the skin's natural luminosity. In Korean makeup, the application of loose powder is quite strategic. Instead of setting the entire face, it's lightly applied mainly to the sides of the cheeks and forehead. Regions that require a touch of highlighting, like the nose tip and the middle section of the forehead, receive only a light dusting of powder. This approach helps retain the natural glowiness of the skin, distinguishing it from the more matte or powdered finish often seen in other makeup styles. Eyebrows play a crucial role in Korean makeup trends, and there has been a shift in the preferred style over time. Previously, thicker and straighter brows were highly preferred back in those days. Artists like Won Young and IU flaunted thicker brows, contributing to a more defined look. However, contemporary Korean makeup now leans towards narrower brows, creating a more effortless, airy, and lightweight effect. The trend has shifted from thick, straight brows to softer, naturally arched ones. This newer style involves a subtle lift in the arch, emphasizing a softer and more feminine appearance. Notably, there's been a change in the preferred shade of brows as well. Ning Ning has embraced lighter brow shades. If we were to compare her having darker tones brows, lighter brows gives a cleaner and lighter appearance. This transformation showcases how eyebrow trends can significantly influence the overall look and feel of Korean makeup styles. Filling in the brows from the middle to the end while leaving the front part more natural can definitely create that airy and soft look. For those with naturally darker brows, using a tinted brow gel in a shade lighter than your hair color by one shade or two can be a fantastic way to achieve this effect. The gel helps lighten and subtly define the brows without overpowering them, contributing to a softer and more natural appearance. 
Korean eye makeup often uses lower saturation shades and lighter tones to achieve that natural and translucent look. However, this approach might present a challenge for individuals with deeper skin tones, as these lighter shades might not show up prominently on their skin. To address this, use eyeshadow primers or layer the lightest shade that are usually in beige tones as a base all over the eyelids. This helps create a clean canvas. Adding a medium toned shade to the inner and outer region of the upper eyelid helps deepen the appearance of the eyes. It's crucial to apply and blend this shade precisely within the crease, focusing on defining the natural contours of the eye. Avoiding overblending or extending the shade too far outward helps maintain the elongated look, preventing the eyes from appearing rounder, and instead emphasizing their natural shape. Defining the lower lash line and the under eye fat contour, a gyok sal, is a key element in Korean eye makeup for elongating the eyes and adding depth. Using a brown shade along the triangle region of the lower lash line contributes to this elongating effect. Tracing the curve along the under eye fat with the same shade emphasizes and contours this area. Highlight the egg yolk cell with a matte highlighter or the lightest shade in the eyeshadow palette, particularly in beige tones, helps bring attention to this area. Apply a shimmery shade carefully along the inner region of the lash line, covering about two-thirds of the egg yolk cell contour, adds a touch of brightness and allure to the eyes. Eyeliner plays a pivotal role in accentuating Asian eye shapes. Due to limited lid space between the crease and often finer lashes, tight lining, or applying eyeliner along the upper waterline, suits Asian eye shapes perfectly. Korean makeup artists often opt for gel liner applied with a flat head brush for tight lining. This technique enhances the eyes, making them appear more awake and vibrant without overpowering the natural beauty of the unique Asian eye shape. The tight lining method not only defines the eyes, but also helps create the illusion of fuller and denser lashes contributing to a brighter complexion and an alert, refreshed look. In Korean makeup, the preference for eyeliner leans towards a subtle elongated style rather than a bold winged look. This particular liner technique involves extending the liner from the tight line, typically starting from the outer rim of the iris and gently extending towards the outer wee region of the eyes. Koreans do have a distinct preference for long and separated lashes. Using a mascara-coated tweezer to group the lashes together is a great way to achieve this desired look. By carefully clumping the lashes together, it creates a base that can be further elongated for a wispy appearance. When opting for false lashes in Korean makeup styles, choosing falsies with a separated look is key. These lashes, often referred to as Korean girl group falsies, are characterized by their wispy, fluttery, and separated appearance. Blush is an essential element in Korean makeup, adding a natural flush that completes the overall look. The choice of blush shade often aligns with the colors used on the lips and eyes to ensure visual harmony and cohesiveness throughout the makeup. It is typically applied right below the eyes, at the apple of the cheeks, in a round shape. This placement gives a youthful and innocent appearance, contributing to the soft and natural look that Korean makeup styles often aim to achieve. Glossy lips are a staple in Korean makeup looks. To achieve this effect, a few techniques are commonly used. Firstly, lightly dabbing blush at the cupid's bow and the center of the lower lip can enhance the volume of the lips, creating a fuller appearance. Once the lip shade is applied, add a clear gloss at the center of the lower lip and along the cupid's bow. This further amplifies the juicy and pouty look. This technique not only adds shine but also creates dimension and gives a plump appearance, contributing to the youthful and radiant finish often seen in Korean makeup styles. Korean makeup often prioritizes a cohesive and airy overall look as its aesthetic standard. The emphasis is on creating a harmonious and natural appearance where all elements work together seamlessly. This style tends to focus on subtlety, softness, and a delicate balance between the features. On the other hand, Chinese makeup often leans towards a more eye-catching and impactful impression. The focus here is on highlighting specific features to make them stand out prominently. Since you've learned the subtle differences between these makeup styles, how do you know which suits you the most? Well, here are some ways to help you find which styles you should go for. Firstly, consider your facial features. If you have prominent features or a higher visual weight, opting for simple makeup that enhances your complexion can beautifully accentuate your natural beauty. Too many focal points in your makeup might overshadow your unique features instead of highlighting them. Moreover, if your facial proportions suggest a mature or elegant appearance, a clean and straightforward makeup style might suit you better. 
Youthful looks, such as the influencer or Douyin makeup aesthetics might create too much contrast with your inherent beauty. Conversely, if your facial features possess medium or lower visual weight, often described in Chinese aesthetics as having ample blank space, the Douyin or the Korean makeup looks can be transformative. They excel in crafting delicate yet eye-catching looks, enhancing your features in a way that complements your natural elegance. Another way to determine your preferred makeup style is by considering your personal taste. Douyin looks lean towards an energetic and youthful vibe, while Chinese makeup embraces a more modest, mature, and elegant aesthetic. Korean makeup often strikes a balance between these extremes. Ultimately, the choice lies with you and what resonates most with your style and personality. For beginners seeking a starting point, delving into the Chinese makeup style might offer a great foundation. Specifically for individuals favoring a girl boss or femme for a tall appearance, the Chinese makeup style beautifully complements feminine strength and elegance. It diverges from conforming to current aesthetic norms of facial neoteny, emphasizing a sophisticated and empowered expression of femininity. Considering occasions and purpose in makeup choices isn't as rigid as dressing styles. In relaxed settings, such as going to classes or working in a less formal work environment, feel free to explore bolder, eye-catching looks that emphasize your beauty. Korean makeup looks are a good option for this kind of situation. Yet, for formal events or strict professional settings like healthcare or government offices, the influencer looks might appear overly dramatic. However, for casual outings with friends, the bold and expressive influencer looks shine. These striking styles often photograph well and provide an opportunity to accentuate your best features. In essence, the boundaries between these three distinctive makeup styles often blur, as they embody certain similar qualities within their unique aesthetics. Makeup styles continuously evolve, adapting to current trends and aesthetic standards. However, understanding which style resonates most with you remains pivotal. Moreover, the spectrum of Asian makeup is incredibly diverse, encompassing various styles like Thai makeup, Mori K, retro Hong Kong looks, and more. So for a deeper understanding of each style and discovering what suits you best, you can refer to our previous video delving into the 8 makeup archetypes here. Before we wrap up today's video, have you discovered which makeup style resonates most with you? Feel free to comment below and share your thoughts on which makeup look suits you best. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you in the next video. Goodbye!